Welcome back to Libertas is Estonino Habana with our special guest, Medal of Valor awardee, General Noel Buwan. Before the break, he was narrating to us yung kanyang experience during his 21-month captivity with the NPA. Sir, um, during the time that you were uh, with the NPA, you were also playing mind games with them or psyops with them. <laughs> Yun ang balita namin kay Ka Roger. Yes, sir. sir, how could you, how, how, ikaw na nga yung na-capture nila, tapos kayo pa yung parang lumalabas na tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung operation ninyo? Uh, bali, naka-record ako, sir, I mean, that their court, uh, lahat po ng charges from the time po ni President Marcos, ni so President <laughs> Ramos, uh, Aquino, then President Ramos, then uh, President Strada, sinyalis po sa akin. And, uh, of course, it's a kangaroo court without any lawyer. So, <laughs> dinipend po ko sa sarili ko. And, uh, ano po, uh, it's like a, uh, yung isa lang po doon na, uh, it's, what I'm going to say is, uh, the, the term may not be that, uh, ano, but, uh, yung po bang, hindi mo alam kung kailangan kapapatayin. Okay. Pero nung tumatagal na, I got lost of, a track of the time kung ilang araw na ako, na kasi I don't have anything to write on. So later on, kasi naka, nakakulong po ako, may monkey cage sila. Uh -huh. uh, then pag nilalabas po ako, lilipat ng kampuhan po, nakatinikala ako. Pero nakatakas ako, nakatinikala na po ako sa loob ng kulungan ko. Uh, it so happens siguro na yung mind ko, sinet ko na I'm still on a project, on a mission. I still believe then that, uh, of course, until now, na yung family ko are okay. And of course... They were telling you na wala na yun. Yeah, opo, wala then yun. the yun, yung AFP... Uh, of course, they did not left me. I mean, nandung pa rin sila. Uh, I just want to say na hindi po ako nag-NPA at hindi po ako nag-abusayaf kasi may mga ganun pong gimmick. Na, na, but that's not true. So, uh, yun po yung ano, yun po more psychological. Lagi nila sinasabi yun, kinakantahan, etc. Ang pinakamahirap po doon is yung paano ka matutulog. Kagigising mo lang. Uh, dalaw pong hiningi ko doon, actually. I asked for a Bible and nag-ask po ako ng uh, dictionary para may improve po, po yung uh, ano ko po, communicative skills. Unfortunately, wala pong binigay na gano'n. Ang binigay po sa akin, libro ni na Chairman Mao Zedong, <laughs> uh, libro po ni na Lenny, ni Stel, gano'n po. So basically, yun po yung binigay sa akin. And of course, yun kay uh, Mr. Joma Sison. And everything about the communist or the socialist movement po. Unfortunately, siguro hindi na bago sa akin po yun kasi nabasa ko na. So basically, wala pong dating. And totoo po yun na halos yung po na glilo na from KLG 1450, marami po yun. Because one, kasi nakita po na sa loob na yung supposed to pinaglalaban nila pantay-pantay, hindi po siya totoo. Or when, what they call na yung mga dapat nilang ginagawa, hindi. So, so na-experience na, na nyo yan sa kanila nung nakikita nyo sila yes, nag-operate? Yes, yes. And sila mismo. But initially, sir, six months ako walang kausap. I was placed in ano, excommunicado. Oh. Six months na walang kausap. Initially, yung pakilala po nila sa akin, rapist ako. Then later on, a certain ka... I forgot her name. Uh, nung, kasi binibigyan ako pagkain, then alis na. Ang kumakausap lang po sa akin is the political officer at saka po yung platoon leader nila, si Choi at saka si... Uh, I forgot the name of the other uh, NPA. Uh, then, yeah, gusto lang convince ganun. Then si... Yung pong isang babae, uh, nung, nung yung isang NPA, umiiyak. Then, uh, sabi ko, bakit ka umiiyak? Kasi hindi ako kinakausap. Ang sigaw sa akin, isa ka pa. Sabi ko, ganun. So, tapos ang, ang palabas nila po doon is rapist ako. So I said, ako rapist ako? Sa iba ka akong ito, ginanong po yung uh, NPA. Uh, then, ako si Major Buwan. Then that was the only time na yung NPA doon, na yung mga NPA po, nalaman nila ako si, uh, ano, si Major Buwan that time. So they have that uh, scenario po. Then, uh, of course, ang alam ko is matagal nila akong bibinbinin or you know, because they charged me of one of the charges was Ano po, um, espionage uh, about information, something like the intelligence operation, ganun. But I saw in them, yung, actually, halo po yung, ano ko, until now, it's halo. Uh, naawa ko na na naasa na ko what they call this. Because Sir, anong motivation nila for being in the mountains? Anong observation ninyo? Uh, Bakit yung, sila nandun? Yung nakita ko, sir, yung later on, sir, uh, later on, I can't remember the date or months kung ilan na kami mag-ano doon. Then later on, itong mga NPA po, I was, uh, nakakausap po na, nakakausap po na. Kasi, don't wait, kasi alam nila ako si Major Buwan, then I have to, they, uh, nabaligtad po. 
na win over ko po sila. There was a time po na hindi ko alam na kasi later on na surrender na po sila. Later ko nalaman na yung yung pong uh, kalahati ng NPA ano po tinatakas na ako. Yung kalahati naman yung grupo ni Choi hinahabol naman kami. And there was a time in being na sa isang kubo po mayroon dalawa tatlong mag-asawa anak na nandoon na pala lahat ng barel at pasala sila iniwan ako. I did not know that. Yung pala, nag-alisa na yung isang grupo na nagbabantay sa akin because of the internal struggle. Uh, of course, uh, pag pinagandaan po natin yung move, I mean, because of the internal problems within like sexual opportunism, okay, leadership crisis, organizational dysfunction, uh, financial exuberance, and uh, ito po mga tinatawag natin na uh, culture of violence. So, ito po yung mga lima or sa tingin ko na aside from the polit-ideological na ano nila, ito po yung mga sumisira o ito po mismo yung kung bakit sila hindi nagmumumon. Because within their organization, sila-sila mismo po nagpapatayan. Sila-sila mismo po inaabuso yung kababayihan. So basically po, the internal problems within the organization, ito po yung nangyayari. So that's why makikita mo initially, ah, Vanessa, I forgot the name. Uh, of course, uh, iba na po yung ano niya. He's now, uh, maganda na po yung buhay niya. Si Asenica Vanessa, ito po yung naging ano po na para siya yung na, na, na nagsabi sa akin na gano'n, na rapist, gano'n, gano'n. So later on, siya pala po yung nire-rape po doon. Totoo po yun, nire po siya ng platong leader niya, si Choi. Then, meron po siyang boyfriend, yung vice platong leader niya, si Benji. Then later on po, usually po kami sa operation po kasi, hindi po ako masyadong dumadam pa, lagi lang po nakaluhod or ganoon, nagtatago sa puno. Pero during that time po na nag lang po sila sa, sa kampo, they did that. Sila sila nag yes, lang, no, sir. mga Dahil, MPA. Yes sir, because of a certain kabanesa. So kailangan ko po dumapa kasi... Makatamahan. <laughs> Makatamahan. <laughs> Totoo po yan. Um, Why I'm saying this, uh, uh, actually dati po, nasari po ako sa dilim. Yung, but yung friend ko po na psychiatrist, sabi niya, you have, there are three things para makarecover ka. One is ikwento mo. Huwag kang mahihang kwento mo kung ano nangyari. Pangalawa, isipin mo na hindi ikaw ang biktima. Isipin mo silang biktima. At pangatlo, go to the area. So nagawa ko po yan in span of two months time. So siguro basically, kaya po mabilis siguro pagka-recover ko. Yung one month ko po during that time na pina-find out nila, sa army noon, sa hospital, series of um, NP examinations, and uh, tinatingnan lang kung bumaliktad ba talaga ako or something like that. Uh, hindi po siya, ano, hindi po siya, ano. Uh, yun po magkakita, culture of violence. Pag sina, sila po mismo, very, very, ano sila, ang dami lang pinapay, operation uh, Kahos sa Davao, operation Padena uh, Damor in Bicol, uh, operation Olympia in Northern, tapos may Leyte pa po, then operation um, Takip Silim, Even kay Roger, si Roger po, natanik ka lang po yan. Because of those infiltrations sinasabi, because of those problems within the organization, na sila silis mismo. Why? Because of that culture of violence within them. Sexual opportunism at all level. At all level. We know for a fact that Mr. Joma Season was also, had this sexual ano, opportunism na ginawa po. And he knows that. Yung technical po niya yun. That's amazing. That's a very amazing story. And first time lang kinikwento ni... General Buwan yan sa publiko kasi uh, ngayon lang ta actually siya lumabas sa, sa TV yes, sir. <laughs> for this. Ngayon, uh, another, so after you were released, you were able to debrief the military and because of that, nagkaroon ng gains dun sa area, sa area na Southern Tagalog because of the information that you shared. Yes, sir. aside from that, sir, of course, magaling po yung mga officers na dinala doon. Um, maganda po yung effort o yung strategy na ginawa ni General Palparan din and the other officers, yung mga battalion commander doon. And uh, basically, nakafocus sila on winning the people, the hearts and minds of the people para hindi na dadami. At the same time, left hand and saka right hand effort, may mga nagsusurrender po, may combat operations sila. And uh, holistic po yung approach. Now, after this, you were assigned to a tougher area, a tougher neighborhood actually, which is Basilan. And uh, doon po, nakakuha kayo ng Medal of Valor dahil uh, ayon sa mga nabasa ko, uh, you were able to neutralize one of the top five uh, Abu Sayyaf leader, si Ham Siraji Sali, which had one million dollars, uh, that's, that's his picture, one million dollars to sa rewards for justice ng Department of State ng US. So kahilera niya yung sila Abu Sabaya, at saka Hapilon. si Hapilon Isnilon Hapilon, at saka si and, and the other. Sir, can you please narrate to us What happened? Ano nangyari doon? And I, I know it was it's such a, an interesting story kasi nabigyan kayo ng Medal of Valor. Sir, uh, before I'll say about this story, is it 
It's okay for me to... Yes, sir. Sir, uh, itong po sinusot ko, just like what I'm wearing now, ito po mga badges ko. The, the Ranger tab, uh, ito po yung uh, Ranger tab po. Initially, I was RT yun. Then later on, po na pinag-graduate because po nakita nila na yung ginawa ko was uh, karapat dapat po ang maging Ranger. Of course, gusto kong pasalamatan si sina former uh, si na Blandan, Gerald Lim, Sir Danny Lim. Danny Lim. Sila po yung matumulong sa amin. And aside from that, siya po yung isang official na kumuha sa akin. Kasi after po ng captivity ko, uh, basically because of the propaganda po ng kabila, parang tatlo, kukunti lang po yung officer na gustong kumuha sa akin. Supposed to be po dapat magbabatal yung commander ako sa Southern Tagalog, sa Solcom. It's so happened na may konting ano, then di ako tinanggap doon. So sabi ko, I'm volunteering ulit sa Region 9. Anyway, lati ko naman po yung Region 9. So that's why naging batal yung commander po ako sa Frisis Army. Uh, ito mong sinasabi ko na itong Ranger tab ko, uh, this is dedicated to Corporal Speedy Padilla. Sundalo ko po siya. Magaling, matapang, dedicated po. Ito mong special forces tab ko po, dedicated po ito kay Corporal uh, Alfred Tagatak. Sorry, sorry, this one. Magaling, maasahan po at matapang. Yun know, ang Medal of Valor ko. Dedicated po yan kay Staff Sergeant Dindin at saka kay Corporal Stember. Alam niyo po, uh, kailangan po silang banggitin kasi wala na po sila. Magsundal po natin ito na nagbibis ng buhay. Kasama ko po si Alfred Tagatak during, uh, sorry, si Speedy Padilla during that, that long engagement sa Pilar Sorsogon. Kasama ko rin po si uh, si uh, Corporal Tagatak naman na namatay din during sa siege po namin sa summer dito sa Surigao Augustan area during that, uh, ano po, 1993. And yung sa Medal of Valor ko naman po, yung dala po, namatay din po sila when we have these special operations against the group of Hamsar Gisali and yung mga grupo po niya na mga sinasunod taladyal, mga ganun po. So, uh, of course, uh, uh, after those things na nangyari sa NPA, so basically I went to to the area ng sa Muslim as a secession area and I, had, I was given this opportunity actually may, may ano po kami project then kami before then I just continued of course I would like to thank the former chief of staff si Jerry Brado uh, Jerry Brado Brado is a very uh, professional na napaka siya po rin po isang tumulay and of course si General De Los Reyes po uh, uh, sorry sir General, General De Santos, Santos. Uh, the former CGPA uh, sila po yung General Llano sila po yung very ano po sa case ko po uh, nung pagka-assign ko po sa, ano po, sa, sa, sa Region 9. Region 9. So, I was covering the whole uh, Sambuanga, portion of Sambuanga. Uh, then, ito po ang Basilan, Sulu, Tawi-Tawi. So, kami po yung maneuver ng Southcom that time. And, uh, tinulik ko po yung sa effort namin. And, basically, nagkaroon po ko ng special operations. Then, we went to their, sa lugar po nila. Hindi po isang daan ng kalaban ko. Yung grupo po namin, more or less 30 yung kalaban ko. But basically, they were on position. Parang yung isang comment po ng isang uh, general before, eh, bakit po kailangan mo pumunta doon? Eh, that is, you have a battalion commander in your broad, just eight-man team. Sabi ko, there's a need kasi we cannot, napakatuso po nila. Napakatuso po. We cannot get them in an event or what we say. Uh, kasi unang-una, napakalit nila. Napakalit nila, isang, uh, isang tumbling lang nila, hindi mo sila makikita. And they're very, very agile. Sir, um, uh, we'll be going for a break. Yes, Bitinin natin muna yung audience natin kasi they want to hear the story. So basically, 8-man team led by uh, then Lieutenant Colonel Buwan yes, went into the lair of the Abu Sayyaf uh, confronting about 30. Don't go away, this is Libertas, we'll be back.